Okay, in this Adobe Animate tutorial, what we're going to go over is a type of tween animation called Shape Tweens, and that is what is going to make these shapes do a little bit of that transformation, kind of morphing that you see. So uh, we'll go over a couple tricks making shapes kind of shrink. You could use these for things like doors opening or closing, um, the card flipping, and then also something that Shape Tweens can do is change colors of objects. Um, so let's start this as a fresh document, action script three, and then um, what we'll do is just start by drawing a basic rectangle. We'll take our rectangle tool, we'll make our stroke color to be nothing, and our fill color can be anything you like. Um, and just to go over kind of a basic shape tween, basically what we'll do is on this first frame here, um, we'll draw a rectangle about this size and placement. Um, we'll go down our uh, timeline a little bit, maybe to about the 30th frame or so, and input a new keyframe there. So press the F6 key on your keyboard. Um, now we can take our free transform tool, and we could shrink this down um, so it's much smaller. And uh, what I would like to do is actually move it so that it is lining up with right at the end of where that uh, original rectangle was. So what I'm going to use is my, um, my onion skin tool, which is this one, onion skin. I don't want onion skin outlines, but onion skin tool. And I'm going to go ahead and extend this to the beginning. Um, that way I can see um, the whole span of where that shape actually was. So, actually, you can see it very lightly there. Um, I want to move this over just a little bit, and now it's, uh, now it's pretty much lined up. So this will kind of be a closing shape right into that point. Um, so let's go ahead back to this first frame. We'll right-click in between here and go create shape tween. So now as we scrub back and forth, you can see that that bar shrinks from one size down to the other. All right. So uh, what we'll go over now actually is... Um, taking another rectangle and we'll add a new layer. You don't want to have more than one shape tween on each layer So we're gonna go ahead and do another shape over here. Um, this time we'll do kind of a square in this corner um, And make sure you're on the second layer now uh, The other thing we'll do is again go about 30 frames down We'll put in a new keyframe here on this layer And what we're gonna do is actually draw a circle in this lower right hand corner I'm gonna change the fill color though also to demonstrate the ability of Adobe Animate to also change colors with shape tweens. So if I insert a circle down here, and then I will delete this square off of this keyframe. So if I click on this last keyframe, I should see a, a different color circle, and on this first keyframe, a, a different color square. And if I go ahead, add a shape tween in between, um, you'll see that you can see that transformation of that shape changing uh, shape and color. So um, that's another interesting feature that is really cool. You can use for things like transitions, like day going to night, um, other things that we'll get into uh, down the road. Now let's add one more layer. We're going to do a little bit more of a complex shape tween here. Um, and in this example, we're going to make the illusion of a card flipping. I'm going to go ahead and take a, uh, a different color here, maybe a light blue. And on this first frame, I'm going to draw another rectangle. All right, so on this frame, and then I'm also going to put in another keyframe at the very end, at the 30th again, um, of that uh, rectangle being upright again. So imagine it's going to flip to the middle, go sideways, and then come back flat again at the end. So right about the 14th, 15th frame, we'll go ahead and press F6 to give ourselves a new keyframe. And now we're going to take our free transform tool again and do a little manipulating to the shape. So I'm going to squish it down so that it's almost kind of flat looking. Um, now I'm going to take my sub selection arrow and what I'll do is just kind of take um, these two bottom points of this rectangle and I'm just going to move these out a little bit. All right. Um, and now what I'll do is go to the next uh, keyframe or the next frame and then make a new keyframe there another F6 and now what I want to do is actually go back and I'm gonna flip this first one so the one we did first we're gonna flip this upside down so we're gonna go to modify go down to shape 
or actually down to transform, and we're going to flip it vertically. Okay, so now what we should have is on the first frame, the full rectangle. This 14th frame here is going to kind of squish down and then flip and then go back the other way. Now we'll add in the tweens. Um, actually what can make this a little more realistic too is if we make these two uh, bits a little bit darker color. So I'm going to make this a darker blue or darker blue screen. And I'm going to do this one that same way as well. All right, so those are darker and these are lighter, and that's going to help create the illusion of kind of a shadow. So now I'm going to go back in and create a shape tween on the first frame and then on this uh, next frame, the second one in the middle here. Now what we should see is that rectangle transforming into this one and then flipping and going down, but what you'll notice is it's doing something funny here. We need to add in what's called a shape hint. And so uh, in Adobe Animate, we can go ahead and add in shape hints um, by going to the modify bar at the top, go down to shape, and add a shape hint. Now shape hint is going to tell uh, Animate to recognize certain points in our shapes when we add shape tweens, um, because it can get confusing for Animate to figure out what point you want to have transformed into what. So this is getting closer, but it's still off. So what we're going to add in is one more shape tween. So we're going to go modify, shape, and add another shape hint. And now we'll move B over to the B corner. And then we'll kick, click on the 30th keyframe and make this B onto this corner. Now we should see a much better flip. There we go. So let's give that a test. All right, and there we have it. Some fun playing around with shape tweens, making some different illusions. And uh, we'll get more in depth with how these can be used later on in our computer animation course.